Here are the horses now for race number five this evening's first leg of the twin trifecta, Phillies and Mares Condition, claiming Pacers racing a mile. A field of ten with no changes. The one is Madame Gay, owned by Don Knight of Urbana, Jeff Fout driving. Two is Victillery, owned by Lisa Mead of Columbus for Cherry Groves. Number three, Lookout Bell, owned by Howard Wallace and Dave Jewett Jr. of Lebanon for Dell Miller. Four is Wild Image, owned by Bill Sherman and Robert Sherman of Ohio and California. Mike Wilder drives. Five is Radiant Abbey, owned by Richard Slaughter of Newark, Dave Hawk driving. Number six, Miss Cannon, owned by David Baird of Finley, Ryan Holton up. Seven is B.D. Falcon, owned by Robert Palmer and Richard Palmer, Kelly Shepard drives. Eight is Great Tucson, owned by the Bad Boys Stable of Richwood, Terry Holton of the bike. The on Ricky's Mercedes, owned the divided by Rick Jordan of Canal Winchester. And the ten horse, Cindy, owned the divided by Ron Boston of Sunbury. One place show, perfect at go. And they're off, and it's Radiant Abbey from mid-track. First to leave from the outside, racing a second comes Ricky's Mercedes. Great Tucson right there in the hunt early as they move into the first turn. On the inside, racing a fourth, it's Victillery. To the outside, fifth, Miss Cannon. Off the rail, sixth came Madame Gay. To the inside, a seventh, it's Beatty Falcon. Inside, racing eighth, Lookout Bell. Ninth on the rail, Cindia, and the uh, trailer is Wild Image. Opening quarter 27 and 4. Brisk opening panel here. Out of the outside Ricky's Mercedes has taken the lead but here comes Radiant Abbey right back to retake now and Radiant Abbey back on top. Ricky's Mercedes gives it up for the cover and that leaves Victillery uncovered and she powers to the front end now looking to take the lead. To the outside Miss Cannon is gapping the cover fourth along the rail and racing at five as they reach the halfway point. Great Tucson alongside Madame Gay comes into the cover flow sixth buried seventh on the rail BD Falcon half and 59 and one and Radiant Abbey controlling the pacer by three parts of a length Victillery 35 to one shot is on the outside in part second Ricky's Mercedes a 35 to one shot along the rail is locked in third and three wide of the outside here comes Miss Cannon as she takes a shot for the front Outside, Madame Gay hustles after the cover, uh, up the rail, and racing a stick. That's Great Tucson at the three quarters, 128 and four. And Radiant Abbey quickly opens up a four length advantage. Miss Cannon to the outside is now racing a second. Ricky's Mercedes is tiring, and here comes Great Tucson angling off the rail now as they turn for home less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Radiant Abbey digs in for the stretch battle. To the outside comes Great Tucson. To the inside, it's Miss Cannon, and Great Tucson is coming strong here, and the Big T takes it tonight with Great Tucson. The winner of the fifth race, number eight, Great Tucson, three-year-old daughter of Tucson Hanover from Great Profit. Over the band boys, stable of Richwood, Ohio, trained and nicely handled tonight by Terry Holton. Great Tucson coming in from the county fair circuit, recording her first season's victory in record time tonight, 159 for fifth. Let's go to Garden State now before they're nearing the half. They were all rush, 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 took the lead, but it was just a cup of coffee. Here comes Cam I am has been hung out for three eights, and speaking of hung out, here comes Arizona Jack on the outside. Faye is putting the whip to the shaft, and Arizona Jack gets the message. On the outside, I ain't got no money. He's coming out for a second move. Hasn't moved yet. Great laugh, though, is following. I ain't got news. And it's Cam I am. Rush, rush, rush is blocked for his life. It's